Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. This is part 3 of building a mock from start to finish and the project you are seeing in front of you is my fire station. Check out the previous videos in the links in the description. So what we have here is the footprint for the fire station. It's built on a 32 by 32 stud base plate. It comprises of a garage and the firehouse. Now this is a small fire station and it will be two story for the firehouse. This door over here is the garage and it is able to accordion fold like that. So what I'm going to do in this particular episode is to continue working on the firehouse itself. One thing I've decided after I finished the second video is I'm going to reduce this by one brick. There's really no reason for this to be so high because as you can see for the minifigs they just need to get into through the doorway. The reason why this was higher was simply because of the fire truck. I did not want it to be too low. The garage generally is higher but I do not need this to be as high simply because when I'm going to put a second story it will basically be on this part of the top of the wall so it's independent from the garage this will have its own separate roof so what i'm going to do is to reduce the height of this subsequently i'm going to move this 3d sign over here this will be to the front top of the garage i think this is grander so the sign can be somewhere here maybe i'll attach it to the roof not necessarily to this front wall itself so i'll decide when i get to that so the first thing i'm going to do is to reduce the height i do not know it could be one brick it could be two bricks because i really don't need this height this means i'll save on bricks as well and also give a bit of visual difference in terms of the height so let's get started So what I've done here is to lower the height of this wall as you can see. Now I'm going to use the second floor as a reference. So this is actually part of a mock I did for the Pete's apartment from the Sanctum Centaurum and I'm using it as a guide because I am using the parts. Now I do want the firehouse to be slightly higher than this. So this might be about right if I take out one brick here and now I add in the grey bricks, this might work. But I think I'll add in one more layer. So it'll still be at least one brick lower than the garage, but I think that'll work. So I'm going to continue from there. So this is what I've decided to do here for the main entrance to the firehouse. Originally, I had the 3D sign, which comes from the expert modular building fire brigade, but I feel this will be suited over here above the garage make it it a bit more grand so i wanted a header for the door and i think this works pretty well so we've got a trans orange and trans red bricks to give a kind of a fire feel and uh, we have this modified brick with these two metallic grill parts so i think this works and i've got this recessed modified brick over here so it gives a bit of texture um, i could also make this black Maybe I might just do a, a black frame here. I think it might look better so that this gray stands out. So I'll do that and then I'll tile this back up. I probably have to do some adjustments over here uh, so that this is gray as well. And I might also do this. This looks a bit too, I would say, organized randomness. So it doesn't look random enough. It looks almost too perfect in how it's supposed to be randomized. So I'm going to work on that as well. So this is what we have. It's looking pretty good. I like this new height. I think it's more fitting and appropriate. Not sure if I'm going to do any more external decorations. I might put a bell or some kind outside. Now I do have the internal bell here. That's for the fireman, but I might do another external bell here. So we'll see what happens. And for the back, you can see that I have changed it up a bit. I think I'm going to still change this up once again just to move this particular one out. I think this looks a bit odd, so I'm going to bring it up. But notice this Technic brick behind. It mirrors all these Technic bricks just to give it a bit of an industrial feel. But there's also a functional purpose 
because over here I've got a fire escape and this will allow me to put this in like that and have the fire escape like this I will have to extend this down of course uh, by putting some more maybe the smaller ladder or something so I'll, I'll work that out that's uh, not too big an issue and then what I'm going to do is build up the second floor and likewise there will be a door here to access the second floor and I might also have another set of fire escapes so that you can actually access the roof so that's the general idea as you can see it so what I'm going to do right now is to just modify the bricks over here uh, so that it looks slightly better and then I'm going to start on adding the second floor so just to give you an idea so the size I have for this particular build is 16 by 14 so I can take these base plates just two base plates just like that to form the base so that's going to be pretty easy so I will have to form the floor by connecting it with one by something plates underneath and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a bit and then I'll build up the second floor and that will be probably roughly the same height as this so let's do this so this is how you plate the second floor if you want to join two larger base plates just uh, plate the bottom edges with one by something plates notice that is the joint in the middle what you want to do is then take a two by something long plate and put it across so that acts as a support so with that done i can now find a place uh, to put it obviously just like that and I'm going to take these bricks from this build and I'm just going to build it on top and I'm going to work with roughly about the same height so it's going to be one more layer of these uh, dark tan bricks over here and uh, I will also have to figure out a door which will be in line over here because remember I do have that fire escape which I'll just put here for reference so I can be sure where that door is going to be and that that works well so basically I can remove this and uh, I think we're on track so let's do this now so here we have the structure of the second floor I've added one more layer of brick so that's why you've got a taller dark tan brick here we've added the door and this should fit right on top just like that lining everything up in place and if we look at the back okay that looks like a big step down here so I will need to think of how to address this maybe I can just extend a base plate here or I could Or I could move this Technic brick up so that's the only small issue that I have to think about now I should also put this other one here so I've got one more here which I can put in place as well and this is to put it in line and that'll look something like that I think it makes sense if I can move this up by one and then at least it will be in line with this brick but the problem would be then everything will be raised up by one brick high so I'm gonna think about that and see what's the best course uh, to put to make basically to make it uh, so that the stairs are aligned with the door because you can see there is a small issue there so that should not be too big an issue I'm pretty much happy with that I will need to plate this as with all modular buildings and then put in the tiles as well and then I can put in the roof I have a roof but this isn't going to be the final roof this is the roof that I built for the previous mock but that can give you just a kind of an idea of what we might be looking at over here so 
let's uh, forget about the roof for now and let's uh, work on that fire escape and how to level up the door with the fire escape. I've thought about it for a few minutes and I think I've got a solution. I'm not going to do any major changes to moving Technic bricks and stuff. All I'm going to do is add a step, not to this level over here, but just here. Because if I remove this, you can see these are just plates. So I just need to remove one plate and I'll create a step. So I'm going to create it in line with the door using this bracket part like that. This allows me then to fill in the space with other plates, such as here and here. And the tiling can go off over it as well. And I think I should use a really large, which I have over here. The one by four goes here. And now I can just take a step like that and that lines up quite well. I am going to cover the step over here with these black grill pieces just to have it meet aesthetically and that works. So let's put this back on top and let's have a look. So now you have a reasonable step going down and then uh, to the fire escape and likewise taking one step up. Uh, that's very reasonable and I think it works and it really works and fits in organically as well. So let's see if I will have to do the same for this. I don't think so. I could probably do a, a ladder or something. So I'll work that out. So now that I've solved that, let's plate the top and tile it and then we can work on the roof. So we've got the plate and tiling done as well as jumper plates to accept the roof and that goes on top over here. Now I have to figure out what sort of roof design I want. I do have this roof here, which I will use uh, to a certain extent. I'm not sure if I want to put a short ladder here. Firemen, they can just climb after all, but we'll see about that. Uh, what's more important is really the front. I'm not using this exact roof design because I do have this tower over here, which I pre-built actually. And this is supposed to go on. So let's just take this off for now. And I do want this, let's break this down. Let's just put this here for now. So this gives this a very nice fire station look, I think. Uh, I will retain this to a certain extent, but let's rebuild this now and just see how it goes. And I'll see uh, how it fits the back as well. Notice the current plate here is black. I think I'm going to change that to dark gray, uh, just so that it fits in better. So here we've got the roof, which I can Pop on over here. I now just have to incorporate the original roof design, uh, which is the front. Let's start off the front over here and uh, see how it fits in with this tower. I mean, I think this works to a certain extent. I just have to extend that part it sits on but I think uh, by and large this works so let's uh, go with this design and then I'll work around to the back so I think this works just building this up like that putting a bit of uh, masonry dark grey brick there just for texture I will put a bell underneath subsequently but I think this is the first step and let's see how we can build this up so that it makes sense for the rest of the roof. So let's bring this down first and maybe this gives us a better idea of how we can work. Now the sides will have to be straight. It's a modular building after all. But for the back, I'm just wondering whether we should stick with this kind of a design. I do like that. But we should think how the fireman or anyone would access the back. Well, I guess we could take off the lip of one part of this so that there's direct access. And then we can still retain this particular look. Okay. 
here's what I've got. I think it's pretty decent. At least for our first pass, we've got some nice curvature and angles. We've got that bell tower. And if we come back over here, we've got that functional short ladder. Of course, I have to build uh, up this fire escape properly. But now you can access the top. And the idea is when this is on over here, and uh, if you wanted to access the roof over here, you I guess you'd climb down and maybe take a ladder or something. Uh, but I think this works out pretty well. What I do need to do is extend both these ladders, I think. This one has to come down. Well, I guess you could kind of drop down here because this technically might be folded up. Yeah, so I think this is fine. This doesn't... This doesn't really have to extend, but I have to extend this one uh, using a, another short piece of ladder. But other than that, I think uh, we're almost here for this particular exterior for the firehouse. There's no real way to attach this ladder over here. I have two options. I could put clips over here and stick the ladder up like that, but that would seem a bit flimsy, I think. And I thought maybe I could do this and I could just add this over here. So this clips on. These are basically the droid arms with a bar element attached to it. So that gives it a bit of a extension. Let's look for the minifig and see where he is. So of course I'll be tiling this so this will be quite hard. Yeah, he could just step up here and climb up. I think this is not a big deal. Uh, we could do that. If we wanted it to look nicer, I can also break this off and maybe I could do it this way. I could take this out like that and I can put this over here as the base element and we'll flip this around and I could clip this together. Let's try to do that with this limited space that goes here and this goes here. Let's see how that works out. So guy climbs up here, not ideal as well, but maybe a bit neater. I think I, I could live with this, I think. This could probably work. So we do have a nice step here, he could climb up and he gets up here. So that, that works in my opinion. If I wanted, I could also do another drop down here, but I think it's not necessary. I do need to put a bar up here. Just to complete it, I think I do need a longer bar actually like this, not the short bar like that. So let's, let's switch that out. So let's pull this off and put this longer bar here. And there we have our stairs to go up. Take the step up, so this would fold up I guess and this comes here. Or you could fold it this way, bum, 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 and there. That works. Let's come back to the front because I realized I did have some decoration that I could add over here. We've got this. This actually came from that original Sanctum Sanctorum as well. And I think that's easy enough just to add to the side, I guess, like that. Or I could try to bring it up here. Or I could even add it here, like that. Let's just put it here for now. I don't think it's ideal. I might end up, end up putting it over here. Or I can also look behind to see if there's space. I could also put it here to give a bit of uh, decoration. But you know what? It seems so busy behind here. Let's keep that free. And let's figure out where I can put it over here. I actually like uh, this spot is not bad except that let's see if I separate this yeah it's still within that level so let's put it here for now uh, till I think of somewhere better so this is what we've got so far we've now got the garage sends the roof and we have got the top which is the top of the fire house area and let's see if we can get that in full view so what do you think of this? Do you like how it's turning out? I think it's not too bad, honestly. 
let's see where's my fire truck let's get the fire truck back over here I like that the garage has lots of space so lots of work can be done with the fire truck when it's inside and there is a bit of symmetry and balance this is smaller but it's taller this is larger but it's shorter and they just take up that you know same amount of space width wise so we're going to stop here for this particular video i think i will achieve quite a bit in terms of uh, moving ahead in terms of progress in the next video what i'm going to do is to complete uh, the roof for this i'll do the exterior detailing at the doors and figure out how i want to finish off this exterior as well i'm not sure if i want to add in more elements uh, to give it a more three-dimensional look and then uh, i'll add doors to the back as well and finish the back over here and see what else i can detail and then probably we'll do one final video where we do all the interior detail or maybe for the next video, I might also detail the inside of the garage. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I hope you liked this building a mock from start to finish. If you liked this part, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.